Hey everybody, it's Yo from Subi Speed, and I'm back again today to talk about braking systems. We've got the AP Racing Big Brake Kit that's available for the 2015 WRX and STI here today. And we're going to compare that with our OEM braking system that came on the WRX. AP Racing has been doing big brakes for F1 for over 10 or 12 years now, I believe. These guys are the top of the line when you talk about big brake system. Brembo who? Exactly. These guys are what it takes if you want the best braking system available for those serious track guys out there. So let's go over the differences between the two kits and why you want to upgrade to a big brake kit. So when we talk about braking systems, most people are looking for that braking power or braking force, that feel that the brakes are doing a lot more than the OEM when upgrading. Most of that comes from a pad change. That initial bite and clamping force usually just comes from the pad change. But when we're talking about stuff on track, there's a lot more variables involved when you're talking about upgrading. But we'll talk about the calipers first and the clamping force on the calipers. As you can see, the AP caliper has got four pistons, two on each side. That's going to help with the clamping force and a nice even distribution on the brake pads. Also, with this caliper and the brackets and mounting hardware with it, it's very, very light. This is at six pounds altogether. With the factory caliper, we've got two pistons from the factory with the dust boots as well. And dust boots, they will probably melt after repeated track abuse. And again, it's only two pistons on one side, so it might not be as even as far as the braking power and clamping force is. Also, the weight of these, 13.6 pounds on the factory caliper. So you save a lot of weight just on the caliper change there. With the rotors, the AP kit has a, factor, uh, a J hook design, a slotted J hook design that will help with heat and also a two piece hat and rotor design that saves weight compared to the one piece and smooth surface of the factory rotor. Looking at them together, the AP kit is larger in diameter by about three or four millimeters and about a millimeter thicker as far as the rotor hat goes. We're looking also at the vein design on the OEM. It's very straight while the vein design on the AP kit is curved. That will help with heat dissipation as more air flows better through the curved design on the rotors. Weight difference as well, 21 pounds for the OEM and we're at 17.8 for the AP kit. Again, more pounds saved equals faster track times. Next up, we're looking at the pads. These OEM and our Frodo pads, the DS Unos that we're gonna be using on our WRX for track duty. Same weight, but we're looking at a lot more pad thickness as well, the composition is very, very aggressive on these Ferrotos. Uh, again, these are for our uh, track application because we're going to be seeing some heavy lapping days with our WRX. Also with the kit, we got Spiegler brake lines, stainless steel compared to the OEM rubber hose that we have. This will firm up the brake pedal and also be able to take on more heat from those extended sessions we see on track. So it's a great upgrade. A lot of good things about the big brake kit for those heavy duty track guys. So we'll get this installed. With the wheel taken off, we can start getting this OEM brake system off. First step we need to do is get the brake line off of the hard line here and the coilover or suspension mounting point. You'll need a 10 millimeter line wrench and some type of needle nose pliers to get this clip off here. Right now we're going to leave that clip there as it helps hold the brake line while we try to get it free from the hard line. 
So we just need to get that on there. And start that 10 millimeter banjo off of that brake line. To get that, you get some fluid there. So you want to put a little pan underneath that we have set up to catch some of that brake fluid that's going to come down. Once that's off, you take the clip off. It'll be a little tough. Cut that off and we can move this brake line. Again, let it drip down into that drip pan there. Then we just got to get the suspension mounting point off, which is a 12 millimeter bolt. line will hang like that. We've got that off. We can go ahead and start taking off the caliper now. Next up to remove the caliper, we've got two 17 millimeter bolts that hold the bracket onto the hub for you. So you got to break those free. You'll probably need a large breaker bar, something like that, and get some leverage on it. We've cheated a bit and got that broken off. And these are kind of loose already. So once you got those loose, you can switch to the ratchet and get these off. Once those are free, you can pull the caliper off. We've got the caliper out of the way now. All we gotta do is take the rotor off and it just slides right off. Boom. With the rotor out of the way, we can see the factory dust shield that's installed. Since this is a track application and these actually retain heat, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these. There's three 12 millimeter bolts on there. Just gotta break those off. Get these bolts out of the way. And that's gone. This is junk for us. Next up, we gotta get the caliper bracket installed on the OEM hub and you've got the bracket, you've got the two short mounting bolts and washers that are supplied with the kit and we got a little bit of red Loctite. So basically you just got to put a little dab, not very much, on each bolt or on that starting thread and we can get these mounted. Now it mounts on the outside of the hub so towards the brakes and then the mounting point for the caliper itself needs to be towards the inside of the car. Then the bolts go in from the back side.
Once you've got those tightened up by hand, we'll torque them down to 55 foot pound. All right, the caliper bracket is torqued down to 55 foot pounds. We just got to put the rotor on now. When installation on the rotor, you want to make sure that the J hook is curved towards the direction that it's going to be rotating. It's got that lined up. It's just going to sit there. Then we're going to install the caliper. With the rotor in place, it's time to get the caliper on. So you take the two longer pieces of hardware that came in the kit, get a little bit of red Loctite on them as well, and we'll get those bolted up back here. So you take your caliper and get everything lined up. And I always go ahead and put the hardware through the caliper first to get ready. Then you can hand tighten the bolt to get that lined up and then get the second bolt lined up. Once you've got the threads going there, you can torque these down to 23 foot-pounds. Now we can go ahead and get the pads in. Just got to take this retaining pin off, which will take 5 millimeter hex on one side and a seven millimeter wrench on the other. With the pin removed, go ahead and slide your pads in. And reinstall the pin. There's no torque setting for this retaining pin, but AP just says to make them snug. Get the stainless lines installed now on the back side of the caliper. You'll want to get the crush washers on the banjo bolt on both sides. There's one there in between the bolt and the line itself, then on the other side. Then go ahead and finger tighten this onto the hole in the back of the caliper here. Once you've got that on there, you'll torque this down to 14 foot pound. All right, to wrap up this line, we just got to get it mounted and back into the hard line. Go ahead and stick that back on the suspension bracket there. Get that tightened up after we get the line back into the hard line here. Once you've got a few threads started with your finger, you go ahead and get that 10 millimeter line wrench and get that tightened down. Last step on this is to go ahead and grab the retaining clip that comes with the Spiegler lines because the OEM ones will not fit and get this back on the brake line here. So with the install pretty much wrapped up, all you've got to do is bleed the brakes, get the wheels on, and go bed the pads. You'll be ready for the track. So if you're that hardcore track guy who wants the best braking performance out there, the AP kit is for you. We've got these available on our website now. If you guys got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. Or you can shoot us an email, sales at subispeed.com, or give us a ring, 888-885-2002. Be sure to like and subscribe for more DIY videos for your 2015 Subaru WRX and STI.